Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be looking at Bioshock Infinite in comparison, running it on Ubuntu 15.04 against Windows 8.1. So this is going to be an OpenGL 4 vs Direct3D 11 benchmark, as requested. The latest NVIDIA drivers are being used on both platforms, so let's go ahead and see this virtual programming's new Eon technology that's been improved. Does it bring us near native Windows performance? Let's get to the video. So as you can see here, we're starting right off the bat with the absolute low settings that we can set the game to. Everything is either off or set to very low or low, all running at 1080p. So Ubuntu 15.04 is on the left and Windows 8.1 is on the right. Now GLX OSD is being used for the on-screen display frame rates on Ubuntu and MSI Afterburner is being used for the frame rates on the Windows side. So starting off in the scene, we see them both jump up to the 200 frames per second here, but we are seeing the Windows side lead by what looks to be somewhat around 70 just now. Now it's dropped down to only leading about by 30. Yep, maintaining that 30 difference there. So with everything set to absolutely low, the frame rates do so very high, but there is a pretty big difference between the Eon port on Ubuntu and the native version running on Windows. So we're seeing what looks to be about 40 frames per second difference here. Looks to be going up a bit further there, 50 frames per second difference with Windows in the lead. So while the Aeon port is pretty good, it does look like it falls behind quite a bit from the native Direct3D 11 port of the game. 180, 170 on the Ubuntu side while we're going at about 220, 230 on the Windows side. Going up there to 280 while Ubuntu is running up to about 230. Back down to 180. So it looks to be consistently different between anywhere from 30 frames per second difference to upwards of 70 to 80. So they both are able to solve very high but it's pretty clear that the Direct 3D 11 port is higher here at least in low settings. Alright let's head right into the high settings or ultra settings so everything is set to maximum here at 1080p everything is set to ultra or on for both systems once again Ubuntu is on the left and Windows 8.1 is on the right so starting them up so it does take quite a while for the frame rates to catch up at first once the scene starts you'll be looking at about a second or two before it starts showcasing the correct frame rates so the loading screen frame rates here don't really matter, they don't mean anything. When you're loading and you don't see anything, it's pointless. So the scene is just started, give it a second to reach up to its maximum, okay. We are seeing about a 50 frames per second difference here. So ultra settings, Ubuntu side, oh it's gone down to 30, Windows has dropped down to 60. So that went down to a 30 frames per second difference there. 40 frames per second, 30, 30 frames, yep, okay. We've gone up to 50 frames per second difference there. So there is a pretty big hit if you're moving from the Windows port to the Eon port on Linux. While they have definitely improved, it definitely seems to not be on par with the native Direct3D 11 implementation just yet. So 40 here versus a 60, 80, so we're looking at about twice the frame rates on the Windows side when running at Ultra, at least in this scenario right here. Looking to be about 50 frame rates per second difference here with Windows still in the lead. It is to be noted though that this game was developed for Direct3D 11 in mind only, so the OpenGL port comes after the fact, but still the performance could be a lot better. So still we are seeing a almost twice, yeah pretty much twice the frame rate difference up there. We're just going, oh that's six, oh that's a pretty big difference right there. That's what am I looking at there, I think that's about 90. Summary time! Alright, so when we push the game to the absolute ultra settings, we're seeing about twice the frame rates on the Windows side. So the Direct 3D 11 native version of the game does uh, beat the Eon port of the game quite a bit, substantially, if I do say so myself. So while it is lacking in the performance area, as we can see throughout this video, the port itself, I would highly recommend it for you, especially if you're a Linux gamer, because number one, all settings, all graphical settings are available 
what you have on Windows is what you have on Linux, which is pretty good compared to some previous ports we've had where we miss functionality. Uh, the controller support is pretty darn good itself. I played the game from beginning to end with the 360 controller, works absolutely great. Also interchanged between mouse and keyboard, wonderfully works. The only quarry or qualm I have with the game is that it crashes every half an hour to an hour on a consistent basis. Looks like it's a checkpoint issue. So if anyone from virtual programming is watching this, my video is meant as constructive criticism. I hope you guys can continue to improve your performance. You're definitely doing much better than what you did with the Witcher 2 series, but it's still not quite there yet. Don't stop pushing. So I hope this video was informational or helpful to you in one way or another, and I thank you for watching.